So for the OPA or oropharyngeal airway, these are the things that you're going to want to put in when the patient is unconscious. So you don't want to put it in a somewhat conscious patient or somebody who might wake up because they're going to end up throwing up. the uh, NPAs you have different sizes on some of these if you look inside this it's hard to you're not going to be able to see it but the sizes are on the side so this one's a size 5 this one I'm not sure and this one I'm not sure either because it doesn't have the size on it but we're also going to measure same thing with the NPAs you don't want to put a um, an OPA that is not quite right for the patient the way we're going to measure this is the tip of the mouth there the ears eh, this one's about right there this one will be too big you'll see it'll go past the ear loop this one will be too small and it's not going to reach the ear loop because i tested this earlier this patient is not going to be able to take the proper size for it because this mannequin's airway is kind of small so but how you use it is take this you go to the side Pull on the patient's chin here, go to the side, and as you're inserting, you twist. And the idea is to sweep the tongue out of the way. And this should go flush. This patient's not. I'm going to do that again. Take it out. Okay, you can pull. I'm trying to get my, my hand out of this so you can see. So I'm pulling on the patient's chin here. I'm going to insert on the side and twist. All right, let's do that again one more time. From here, I'm going to pull on the patient's chin to the side and twist. Okay. 